Griffin RC Planes wants to show you the new firmware update for our Spectrum NX transmitters. The new update fixed several things and added several cool functions and features. Let me show you a little bit of both and let me show you if your transmitter needs the update or not. You may or may not know. If you don't, this will be really helpful. Sit tight. Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. So, if you have a Spectrum NX transmitter, the 6, 8, or the 10, there is an update that you may or may not have already. It has some really cool new features. Let me show you real quick on your NX transmitter to see what the current firmware is that you have in your transmitter to see if you need the new 3.10 update or not. To see what uh, firmware level you have in your NX transmitter to see if you need the update or not, you would go to system setup, yes, and then down here we'll be able to see about, and I have the 3.10. If you have the 3.8 or the 3.7, then obviously you need to update it to the 3.10. And then you'll have all this new cool stuff that we're about to talk about. If you do need the update, it has some cool uh, new features and it fixed some bugs. But this is the email that I got from Spectrum and you got one as well. And just says, hey, you know, dear registered Spectrum user, let you know there's a uh, update, a firmware update. It fixes some bugs and, and has new features. One of the new features is his battery charge status, which is really cool. I'll show you that. And the new power off button or option, instead of holding the power button down for what seems like five minutes, now there's an easier way to turn it off. And there's a telemetry status on the list. I, I don't use the ticker tape, and I never have, so I don't know anything about that. And let me show you a couple other things that the update has done. So I went to the... Uh, the change log here and version 3.10 is what the update is is up to. We had 3.8 before. There was a 3.9, but they said they didn't release it. But the correction and improvements, there are some corrections if you did some funky wing types with flap or crow. And it looks like the, the image for the 10360T receiver has been changed. And uh, there's some Wi-Fi download, download quality has been improved, which is good. And some new features are delete all telemetry with the, uh, says uh, the telemetry menu now includes a delete all. So that's good. The new radio power off, I'll show you that. It's really good. Let me show you this new battery power off change that came with the new update. It's really cool. First, we need to turn on the transmitter and now that the transmitter's on are you still subscribed that's the name of this plane so to turn it off you just press the power button and then roll the scroll wheel over and click shut down now you need to enable that that won't just happen with the update so how you enable that is you need to go to system setup. System settings and down here at the very bottom. Power off. Mine is active. Yours may look like that. And then you just click the active and back out and back out. And then now you have it. So you press once. Roll the scroll wheel over, and done. This is really good here, the receiver status on power off. It says when you power off the radio, without first turning the receiver off, the radio will warn you, which that is good because your airplane always needs to be turned off first, then your transmitter. And if you do it in the wrong order, a alarm is going to go off. That's good. And uh, the telemetry log file auto switch. I don't do log files, so I don't know anything about that. The inhibited channel position says on the channel input assignment screen, when a channel function is set to inhibit, you can define a fixed position. 
or the output by uh, pressing the function button. This will pop up a window allowing you to set the fixed servo position. So that's cool. Here's another cool uh, upgrade, I guess. Uh, something new is the battery charge status. So when you're charging your transmitter, now we get to see a screen with a lot of with a lot of telemetry, a lot of data. At first, we plugged in our transmitter, just had a little bit on the front screen that really didn't tell you a whole lot. Now we have some information on the battery inside the radio. All right, let me show you this new charge status that came in the update. And before I do that, hey, if you guys get anything out of my videos, the best way to support what I do is to subscribe, click the like button, and share it with your friends. When you do all that, the YouTube algorithm, the supercomputer, will put me in front of other people, and then more people can get a little help also. That's the whole point of me doing this. This YouTube takes quite a bit of time, costs quite a bit of money, and all I want to do is give back and help out. YouTube helped me, and now I want to turn around and help others with it. So, when you're charging your transmitter, you can go down here to charge status, and you can see the power in the battery directly in the transmitter. So, just like our smart batteries, now you can, we can see the smart battery in our transmitter. I don't have it plugged up right now, but if you did, we'd see all that. I tell you what, let me plug it up. Hang on. All right, I just plugged it up, and I'm going to... Turn on the switch to my power strip, which I just did right now. Green light comes on, and we can see the input voltage is, uh, you know, five five volts right there. So now we can just see a little bit more money, or money, a little bit more info about the battery inside the transmitter. So that's pretty cool. Lots of other cool, cool features in there. There's a change to the vario rate. I've never done vario, so I don't know. Alternate trimmers is good. So the two left and right trimmers that are just to the right and the left of the antenna. I don't know if it's on the NX8, but it is on the 10, not on the 6. I'll show you those on my uh, 9. But anyways, you can use those trimmers for other accesses now, which is good. You know, if you want to trim your uh, your flaps or something, you can do that while you're flying. And uh, telemetry status on list. I've never used the ticker tape, so I don't know. So that's some of the cool new stuff. Now yeah, here's some of the old. So, all right, back to me, guys. Here on my DX9, I'll show you guys these trimmers. I verified that they're on the NX8 and the NX10. Take a look at my DX9 gimbal cover that my friend made me. Those are really, really cool. He 3D printed them which I haven't got into, and that sounds like uh, it will be just as addicting as uh, our airplanes. But he uh, you know, went on the computer, figured out uh, some kind of recipe for the printer to print it, and if I can get it off. Keep your uh, sticks from getting busted during transport. So, the trimmers are right here. It says right trimmer and left trimmer. And now, that update on the NX, you can set those up for trimming your flap, you know, or something like that. You know, we have our trim switches for each axis of the gimbal, and now these trimmers can be used for other accesses with the update on the nx transmitter my nx6 doesn't have that so this is just uh demonstration purposes only if you want to win a jet like this all you have to do is subscribe click the like button and leave a comment and then uh, Ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying.